it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Sunday, September 1st. So welcome to September. If you haven't listened to September's energy forecast as of yet, I'm going to recommend you do so. And of course, download your Zodiac forecast, your sun, your moon, your rising to get a full picture of what your September is going to be about. We have a jam packed full day in the cosmos here today. Not only are we entering into a new month with a new energy, a new life lesson, which primarily focuses in on adjusting, making changes, making improvements, especially to our mental plane. Of course, that's where the change has to begin. We have to back that up with an emotion before we're going to actually get the opportunity to take action in our physical realms, to make those arrangements, to restructure, redesign our physical realms with the adjustments, with the improvements that we're currently realizing we need. Now we have that going on. We also have Uranus, the great awakener going retrograde here today at 27 degrees, 15 minutes of Taurus energy. That is a whole vibe within itself. There's an astro forecast out for your listening pleasure to figure out what all that is about and how it's going to impact your life. If you haven't downloaded the Virgo season e-guide as of yet, you should definitely do so flip to this particular day and capture what is going on. Now this is a destabilizing energy, like a lightning bolt. That's where all the pressure is coming from. And we are definitely going to see some rapid movements take place in our physical realm, but that's not all we have Pluto, the great transformer himself retrograding back into the 29th critical crisis, karmic degree of Capricorn energy. This is the final hurrah. Again, an astral forecast for this event. Again, flip to this particular chapter in your Virgo season e-guide. And again, listen to your Zodiac forecast to understand which particular area of your life these shifts are going to impact the most. But that is not all. Yep, cheesy, cheesy infomercial. That's not all. We're also moving into the new moon window. We have the new moon in Virgo popping off at 11 degrees here late on the second. And so we have a lot going on. Okay. I can't emphasize that enough. If you haven't listened to this week's Ascension forecast as well, I'm going to recommend you do that where I give you a rundown on a little bit of what we can expect energetically speaking to kind of trigger and activate some physical symptoms. We're definitely feeling the head pressure, but things are going to get a little bit dizzy, a little bit, let's call it stomach sick ish. We have a lot of adjusting to do and we are very much rooted in earth energies right now. So our physical form definitely taking a hit. So with all of that being said, the moon still in Leo energy is going to go void, of course, at 826 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're locking into Virgo energy again, that new moon window at 1149 p.m. Again, Eastern Standard Time. There are 12 different aspects taking place here today. Ten of them are going to involve the moon. The moon in Leo energy going to semi square Venus. Venus is the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money. She's in her rulership in Libra and energy. We are shifting, adjusting, trying to bring a new set of values, a new set of priorities into order. We are trying to reframe and restructure where it is that our heart moon and Leo is asking us to be bold and brave and courageous enough to tip the scales in our relationship dynamics in our favor. We are definitely experiencing the extremes in our heart space in order for us to find this new sweet spot. The moon and Leo then going to sextile beautiful interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, blessings, who of course is in Gemini energy. This is why we're divided. This is why we're feeling the tug of war. If you will, we're very much having Jupiter expand our headspace. That's where the pressure is coming from. And because we are pushing the boundaries of the thoughts, the ideas, the perspectives, the opinions in which we have, and the options and opportunities that we're 
are currently percolating on, we definitely have a lot weighing the pros and cons against each other. The moon sextiling with Jupiter is going to give us a burst of energy, a creative streak where we're starting to formulate new wants, needs, and desires and the options and opportunities that we now have to bring them to life. We are feeling optimistic and confident about our goals, our visions, our dreams. And because we are kind of bold, brave, and courageous enough to do the hard thing, just happens to be the right thing, we are definitely charging ourselves up in order for us to take the lead for us to really jump into a new chapter and to really push the boundaries of our comfort zone. The moon is then going to make an awkward interaction with the north node in Aries energy. That north node is trying to get us on the right path, trying to get us on a path of independence so that we can know thyself. This is about realizing our own wants, needs, and desires, what we have to do fulfill those particular voids within ourselves. And of course, that requires us to be on a solo quest, a solo mission. The moon interacting with the North Node in this way, we're definitely thinking about the future. We're thinking about making some bold moves. We are thinking about busting out and really creating something new. We want to bring something new to life. We are exactly honed in on where it is that we have a craving for change. And of course, that opens the door to many different possibilities on what that change is and how we could bring that change to life. But we're emotionally in the mood and in the attitude to kind of step outside of our comfort zone, push the boundaries of our heart space and really go after something that is exciting us, that is inspiring us, that is triggering a new level of desire. We have the moon coming up to bumping into teaming up with Mercury. So Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves. He is freshly direct in this Leo energy. We're still in the post retrograde shadow period. So there is a still some confusion. We have been reviewing matters of the heart. We've been reframing certain situations that have had a huge impact on our heart space. And we're still teeter tottering between different options, different opportunities to follow our heart, to bring a new creative project or part of self to the forefront. And realistically speaking, ever since Mercury went direct, we've been as confused as ever. Some of the things that we thought we knew that we were sure about were second guessing. Some of the things that we knew for sure we didn't want, now we're second guessing as well. This is the time period from now until September 11th, until we kind of gain that clarity, gain that insight. We are going to be reviewing things, stepping back, taking another look at it, deciding where we stand, put that on the back burner, come back to it in order for us to figure out how it is that we actually feel. So emotionally speaking, the moon is our heart space. Mercury is our head space. They're in the same type of energy. This is a conjunction. This is just as much of an ending as it is a beginning. And what we're beginning to see is that we need to allow our heart space to take the lead. There is a part of us, this new version of self that wants to be fully expressed. There's new wants, new needs, new desires. And we're starting to formulate a plan on what that could actually look like. If you find yourself in a situation to have a heart to heart with the people with the world around you, this is going to be a very, very authentic from the heart, genuine type of form of expression. And of course, it could just be a realization within yourself and how you're talking to yourself that we want to orient to a new change to something that kind of sparks excitement, passion, desire, either way. We are definitely feeling more optimistic, more confident than ever. We are willing to take, albeit a much more calculated risk, to be spontaneous enough to break away from our comfort zone and try something new. 9, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have Uranus, the Great Awakener, going retrograde. So again, listen to that forecast, capture what's going on for you in your Virgo season e-guide, listen to the zodiac forecast, your sun, your moon, your rising in order to figure out where this particular energy is going to influence you the most. 
the moon in Leo energy, then going to trine beautiful interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer retrograde in Aries energy. So this is fire on fire action. We love fire because it helps us kind of burn away the funk, the cords, the attachments to the past, especially to some negative mindsets or emotions that we may be experiencing. It also regenerates a fire, a spark, a flame, inspiration, excitement, passion for something new. And at this particular juncture, Chiron, who does represent this new version of self, this new image that we are tapping into, we are feeling pretty good about who it is that we are now in this present moment, the growth that we've been able to accomplish, the healing that we've been able to actually see happen in real time. We are in a very different mindset, very different emotional disposition as well. And overall, we are definitely looking forward to certain situations that we wouldn't even have considered even this time a month ago. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Neptune. Neptune, of course, retrograde in Pisces energy, representing our dreams, our creativity, our imagination, our spirituality. Now, the moon is in a very, very interesting dynamic because in Leo energy, we are heart aligned. We're tapping into authenticity. We are also popping off with some creative energies that put into perspective Neptune's energy, which of course is us visualizing a new goal, new vision, new dream for us to be absolutely pursuing. This is going to give us some intuitive insight, maybe a gut reaction that some of the things that we're currently focused on, percolating on, is definitely calling to our higher self to pivot and pursue a new path where we can actually bring some of these goals, visions, and dreams into fruition. 3.11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Pluto is creeping back into Capricorn energy. I laugh because it's not funny. I laugh because it is just going to bring the, I'm going to call it negative Nancy narratives and moods out in everyone. We are definitely going to feel the pressure. Again, I'm going to encourage you to not only take a listen to that particular astro forecast and all the zodiac forecasts and bust out your Virgo season e-guide, but most importantly, I'm going to really recommend that you listen to the Ascension forecast for this week so that you understand where the shift in your mindset, your emotions and the physical manifestations, the ailments, the discomfort in your physical body, what that is stemming from. Pluto is definitely going to change the vibe. So go ahead, stay ahead of the game. The moon in Leo energy going to square off with Uranus, who is now retrograde in Taurus energy. So obviously a square is a little bit of a growth point. We're going to have a lot of growth points um, throughout the month of September. Again, listen to that astro forecast. Uh, basically, what we're getting here is that we want more clarity than we've been able to gain at this particular point. Even though we're orienting into a new path, a new direction, we don't have all the details ironed out. And for human beings such as ourselves, we're really fixated on the details. So we're actually creating more confusion for ourselves at this particular juncture. Now that Uranus is kind of, you know, retrograde and moving inward. Now we have to take a good look at our physical realms and all of the physical aspects, people, places, things that we are overly attached to that essentially we've outgrown that are really blocking our path holding us back, weighing us down from actually chasing our dreams, this new heart activation where we're excited and inspired for something new. What is actually blocking us from doing that? What is actually preventing us from moving on? So emotionally speaking, this is going to create a little bit of confusion because we don't really understand how the mood, how the energy is just shifted so quickly. Again, huge indicators, Uranus retrograded, Pluto crept back into the Capricorn energy. The moon in Leo, then going to sextile Mars. Mars is the god of war ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desire, even our anger. He is in Gemini energy, again, intensifying the planning, the strategizing, the weighing of pros and cons constantly in our headspace. We want to take action. We want to make moves, but the Gemini energy is having us kind of think things out. Um, talk things out, bounce ideas off of either ourselves or other people before we actually kind of 
charm our way to this next point of action. We are at no point of action at this particular point in time. We're in the dark phase of the moon. There's no action really for us to take other than to rest, observe, and recover. The moon interacting with Mars in this way, though, we're fired up. We're ready to go. We're really kind of, you know, again, tapping into the excitement, the passion, the desire of the fire energy from Leo of wanting to bust out, make a change and really go after something different. The Gemini energy, of course, is the air that is fanning the Leo fire, just kind of throwing different ideas out there, really just kind of, you know, taking a stab at it. And Mars, of course, we just want to orient to the path that, of course, is going to get us to our passions, to our desires. We are very motivated, very determined at this particular juncture to follow our heart space, to really start initiating the steps needed in order for us to break away from where it is that we're at to where it is that we desire to be. Pay attention to that as we move through this new moon in Virgo window. That is going to be a key factor on how we plan and strategize our breakaway correctly. So at 8.26 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon in Leo energy is going to go void, of course. And while the moon is void, the moon in Leo going to make a very harsh interaction with Neptune, who was retrograde at Pisces energy, which, of course, is going to bring on confusion, going to bring on a little bit of wamp wamp victimhood mentality. Just when we were feeling good, hot and expired, ready to move on and move forward, we are just crumbling at the seams. This is when we get overwhelmed. This is when we actually start seeing what is required of us to be the person that we need to be to make all the changes that we have to make in order to actually pursue our dreams and it becomes a little bit much. And to make matters even, I'm gonna say more intensified, the moon goes ahead and makes a very harsh interaction with Pluto, who is now retrograde in Capricorn energy. Flashback to the beginning of the year, anyone? Flashback to uh, what, fall of 2023, anyone? Now our heart wants, needs, and desires to be kind of freed from the construct of the realm and reality that the old version of self has created. Pluto is going to intensify the funk, really put us in a situation where we recognize where it is now that we feel kind of fearful, where we're not feeling so confident, not feeling so hot within ourselves. Again, the whole option and opportunity for Pluto to retrograde back in this Capricorn energy is to help us remove the physical structures, the foundations, the roles of responsibilities that the old version of self has created, that the new version of self now needs to wrap up, bring to a closure, bring to a finality so that we can chase this new goal, this new vision, this new dream.